everybody! Welcome! I'm Ursa Ryan! We're back on Civ 6 and today I have a game with a set of rules that should be a lot of fun. But this game has been brought to me by the wonderful channel supporters who have suggested a game called Sid Meier's Tower Defense. But what does this game involve? Well, today we're playing as the Rangian Harold. He of the Rangian Guard. A very cool but very weird ability to levy city-states armies and to get lots of, well, very spicy yields from them. And also this little thing called one influence point per turn from Stave Church, which you've already proved is not broken at all in any way. No. Today we are going to be earning a diplomatic victory, but that's not really what we're doing this game. That is incidental. That's going to be what ends the game. The real mission, and the reason that I'm challenging you watching this video to have a go at this as well to see if you can beat me, is we are playing tower defense with city-states. For on this six-player continents and islands map, there are 12 city-states, and when I get a diplomatic victory, my score is however many city-states are still alive and free at the end of the game. Now, I don't need to suzerain them, but they need to be independent. Now, you may be thinking, Ursa, that's a really random thing. That's entirely unpredictable, but it is sort of predictable because there are five opponents, and unfortunately for me, all five of them are Frederick Barbarossa of Germany. They are going to be killing a lot of city-states. So my mission, should I choose to accept it, is to win a diplomatic victory and keep as many city-states alive as I can. Now, Germany will be conquering them, Germany will be raiding them, we're going to have to do a lot of liberating. We are going to have to be the Rangian Herald, World Police. The guard will patrol around the world and we will keep every city-state safe. Or, you know, maybe not. In order to pull this off, the rules are quite simple. I may not declare war on anybody or take any one city at any point. This is a totally peaceful playthrough, unless if I see a city-state at any point taken over or conquered by the AI, I may declare war on that that sieve and do whatever I want to against that sieve in order to liberate the city-state. Once all city-states are liberated, I can declare peace and I must return all cities back to the original opponent. I can't keep the cities myself, so whilst I'm liberating, I can do whatever I want. Once it has been liberated, that's it. Yeah, doesn't sound so simple, does it, with five Frederick Germanys on the map? They're going to be going for these city-states everywhere. At the end of the series, you'll see my score, how many city-states I can keep alive, and as I mentioned, before, I want to see if you can do better. Come along to Discord. The safe file for this game is in Discord as well as all of the UI mods that I'm using. No game modes today. Deity, standard speed, continents and islands. Details as such. Let's get cracking. And now, for an important update. Having been expelled from Oxford University, Ursa Bear had met a man named Paul. Oh dear. Luckily for Ursa Bear, he had amassed 40,000 subscriptions. These beautiful little signatures attracted the attention of none other than Gilgabro. Scared off by the majesty, Paul retreated and left Ursa Bear to his way. Searching for new subscriptions, Ursa Bear travelled to the coast, where lo and behold, it looked like more people. More people for subscriptions. Alas, it was not to be. Ursa Bear, our sweet innocent bear is now trapped, harassed by giant crabs. Will you save Ursa Bear from crabs? Will you help Ursa towards his goal? Thank you so much. Back to the video. Turn one and look at this start. It is underwhelming because we are in rainforest. We have one source of banana and we are stood on pretty much the only plains hill that I can easily get to. Unusual. I've got to keep an eye out for Stave Church. Now eventually our holy sites are going to get an additional standard adjacency bonus from woods. That means for every three woods, I get four and a half adjacency. I meant to say, <laughs> the busy way of saying that would be for every two woods, I get three adjacency. Because you get one from having two woods next to you and then one for each wood on top of that. It stacks. We're going to get berserkers. We're going to be able to get into the sea faster. No Viking longship. But this game is all going to be about exploring and keeping my economy big so that I can levy city-states and get aggressive. I need a holy site to have access to a lot of woods and I need that holy site to have access to a lot of woods for a long period of time. And then later into the game, once we get conservation, I'd like to be able to plant woods around as well. If I settle on this hill, I will remove the wood. That's not so good. But I don't really see a better tile for a holy site other than getting rid of my only source of banan, which is appalling. No, I think what I might do is end up putting it somewhere like this, which doesn't feel very good. But then eventually I can put things like government plazas around. I can plant more woods. We'll have to do something with my warrior down to the south, see what we've got. Eh, 
there's a little bit more wood, but this is mostly rainforest. Rainforest is not so fun. I guess I could go and settle on that plains hill, but I'd move away from pretty much the only decent tile I have in my empire. No, I think I'm going to have to settle here. I, I don't know if I like this start, to be honest, but play every start, they say, and I intend to. Right, let's unlock the holy site. And I think a single scout. Now, we're hoping we haven't got too many copies of Germany right next to me. And already we found our first city-state, giving me plus one faith. I have to say, if I'm going to start next to any city-state, faith city-states at the beginning of the game are brilliant, and candy is producing relics for me. Oh, that could be good. That means if I don't get work ethic as a religion, which is often really good with Norway, I could go reliquaries as well. So we have options. We like options. Options are fun. Foreign trade. Boosted. Looks like there's a little bit of desert to my left on both uh, down here and also up here. There's a geothermal fissure, two sources of banana. This is a lake. Yeah, there could be a really good city location around here for some good science. Like that's already a plus four campus. Tasty. A cad. Oh, a cad. Melee and anti-cavalry unit attacks do full damage to walls. Uh, if Germany gets hold of that, that's not going to be very good for us. Not very good at all. Send that scout up to the north and we're going to go and produce a settler as quickly as we can. Now somebody's met a cad. That's not good. Let's guess who it might be. Hmm. Do you, reckon it, do you reckon it could be Germany? I think it could be. It is. Germany. Frederick of Italy, Burgundy, and many others. Oh, goodness me. We're going to have to get used to meeting this individual. This will forever be known as Grey Germany. And they already stood right next to a card. Now, why have I put many copies of Germany in this game? Well, it's quite simple. Frederick gets a plus seven combat bonus against city-states. He's also programmed to attack them a lot. Uh, when you put the deity bonus in, that's a plus 11 bonus. He will walk over any city-state he wants to go to. It's not going to be good at all. Now, I'm going to take a punt and hope that astrology unlocks itself, and we're going to unlock animal husbandry next. All I need to do is find a natural wonder. Looks like there's been a flood up here, but no natural wonders. Oh, no, there's a natural wonder. Gobastan. There it is. Now, unfortunately, candy I haven't unlocked just yet, so I didn't get a relic, but at least we now have our government ready to pop alongside astrology. There's code of laws. Perfect. Let's put God King in to get a nice quick pantheon, and we'll go for discipline. In. Just in case those barbarians skulk around and do naughty things in my lands, we can't be having that. Back to animal husbandry, and me thinks we're gonna go to craftsmanship. One thing I want to do throughout this game is claim every single envoy I can. If I can be suzerain of every single city state, I think that's the easiest way to protect them. Then I at least have visibility, I know what's going on. I have a certain amount of control over everything. If I give up that level of control, I feel like Germany is just gonna be able to do whatever they want and they will do whatever they want, and it will not be particularly friendly. Barb Camp. Okay, okay, good to know. Oh, they've already spawned horses. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Well, I was going to go and settle up towards that Mercury, because it looked like there was at least one decent holy site, like this over there with four woods surrounding it would be really cool. That Barb Scout definitely puts a little bit of a blocker on my immediate plans, but I think what I might do is go over and settle on the diamonds over to this direction. That'll give me a luxury to sell, and it'll stop Germany from settling towards me too much, which I think is a useful thing to do. Now on to mining. When I thought about it, I'm actually going to go for foreign trade now. Let us unlock the beauty of a trader in order to get the candy envoy as quick as we can. Where am I going to build my holy site? There is so little decent area for me to build a holy site in my capital. Not much wood adjacency at all. I could now bat tile, but it's so much gold. I'd have to spend about 130 gold to claim both those tiles. I don't know if that would be decent to do. This source of horse has definitely scuppered my immediate plan for a decent holy site. I could just put it on this desert and it's 80 gold, which isn't great, but it's next to a mountain. It's on the desert. It's not very upgradable in the long run, but I think there is such a thing as perfection blindness, perfection petrification, where you think, I want the best holy site. I want literally the best yields I can get. And in searching for perfection, you you do not do a thing. And that's kind of what I, I always do. I'm like, oh, I want the best thing possible. And then I just don't act. That would be a plus four holy site eventually if I pop that down there. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Or I could pop it down on this tile and gain myself another little bit. Eh. I'm going to hold off five turns, build myself a slinger and see what pantheon I can get. That might just change my opinion on the matter a little bit. Oh, these look, I mean, look at this. It's only turn 21 and already my scout is being bull rushed. No, no, can't have that. Here is the pantheon and actually we could get in theory sacred path now this would let me add a faith from 
adjacent rainforest tiles. It's not something that stacks with my Steve Church because that works purely on forests. But what it would do is mean I could get some killer adjacency from the beginning of the game and then replace the tiles later. Like this would be an amazing tile very quickly. I, I never use Sacred Path. Let's do this. This is just something a little bit different. I, I don't know if this is going to be a good idea or not, but suddenly that's a plus three. It's in my land. I don't have to buy it and it will give me some era score. Yeah, go for it. Why not? Looks like the barbs are just going to sit in my land. All right, just just make yourselves a home, I guess. Just chill. Don't don't even bother attacking my unit. It's fine. Uh, I'm going to send the scout off to the south. Keep the slinger here. Do the damage and now the holy site will get made. One of the Germanies is going for a religion. Normally work ethic is not picked by the AI. It's a very low priority religion. I'm hoping that will prove to be the case. And it looks like we could make friends with one of these Germanies. Now, this is the thing. If a Germany declares war on a city state, I want to be able to attack them. So friendship might be a bit of a problem. But seeing that, friendship is only for 30 turns and it means I don't have to worry about Germany rushing me, which having settled near them, they could well have done. And I would have been like, yeah, fair play. That's another plus three. Yeah, you know what? This is not bad. These are not going to be perfect holy sites. I'm not going to go for the perfect plus six, six woods around them going into a plus 18. Like we'll, we'll make this up as we go along. Well, if these barbarian horsemen are just lurking around, I'm tempted to go and send my warrior to go and deal with those barbs. But I feel like I might regret that if they turn around and try and attack Christiansen. They may do that. These barbs may be very clever. We'll see. Oh no, they're just running in various directions. Let's see what they try and do. I, I'm skeptical of their intentions. These barbarous fools are. Well, they're very cheeky. Mining. Obtained. Pottery. Not going to be obtained because I'm going to try and pick up archery nice and quickly. Well, yeah, they are attacking my warrior now. Oh, that appears to be a barbarian horse archer. My favorite. I love them. They're so fun to fight. Have I ever told you how much I love them? I really should. I think we need to build a bit of an early army here because we're going to get run over if we're not careful. 140 gold for a slinger. I might buy uh, a third. We'll see how it goes, but I just want a few watch. <sighs> My goodness, there's so many units already. Right, fine, fine. The slinger, kill. That's a good thing. I'm going to move my warrior back to try and lure these horse archers in to do some damage from my city. But yes, I'm going to make myself another slinger. And then we're going to save our gold up for three archers. Three archers should be plenty. But I'm not going to take risks here. One, two, like that. We're starting to build the promotions now. This is looking okay. Unit has earned experience. Okay. Experienced scout, ready to investigate the world with vigor. There's a lot of barbs out there hiding back in my city. He's bravely hiding. That's what he's doing. Uh, garrison slinger, 10 extra combat strength. That's wonderful. And let's go for Alpine so I can move about on hills faster. Oh, it's this Germany that's gone for religion, but they were not the ones going for the holy sites. It looks like they've just built Stonehenge. What have they done? Choral music. Uh, I bet what's going to happen is I'm going to make my own religion and have it swamped immediately by good old Frederick. I guess he is a holy Roman Empire. He's got to have a bit of holiness to him otherwise it's just it's just not the same is it now he's suzerain of a cad again slightly worrying that <laughs> I don't like the idea of a Germany that can bypass walls. We might need to come back to that in due course. But God King, nah, let's go urban planning. My first holy site is finished. As mentioned before, I would like all the envoys I can get and a Eureka for masonry is fairly easy to get if I've got stone, which I do. But I also need the trader. So let's do the trader first. Follow that up with a builder and then we can get both of these. I'm going to be really, really plowing some attention into these envoy quests. I want as many of them as I can get today. It's like a goal within a goal, a sub goal that I can go for. Here's my first archer. And there is my first spearman that I found in a barb camp. I'm going to come and get you. All right. All the barb horsemen seem to be elsewhere. They were running around my lands. So I can go kill the outpost. That's actually pretty handy. Is this a different color of Germany? This is. Do they all have the same color? Holy Roman Emperor Frederick, King of Italy and Burgundy and many others. Oh, no, you're a light gray. Oh, it's so different. Dark gray and a light gray. Oh, fantastic. I'm glad that we had such differentiation in, in colors. This will make it so so easy i'm glad we've had this moment i don't know what that misclick was all about military tradition boosted bronze working boosted and samira score we have avoided a dark age we'll wait to see if that helps in any way at all there's the trade route to candy only one faith and three gold from the route but it's the envoy that's what we're excited about they have arches of their own there's i have the sahara again candy i haven't suzerain yet because i'm 13 turns away from that i don't get a relic we'll get a relic eventually just not in 
anytime soon. Engineer ends in 10 turns. Oh, thrilling. What have we got in this area? I could, in theory, get that mercury up and running. The monument would be useful. The shrine, I think actually the shrine would be useful. I've already picked up Germany's religion, so it would give me some culture, which would work as a bit of a monument until I'm ready to claim my own religion. And itself isn't too bad an idea, you know. I could buy some honey. I'm gonna hold off. Gold is a uh, very, very well, sparse. Sparse is a good word. I do not have a lot of gold. Oh, look, it's Germany. Home and Roman Emperor of <laughs> Germany, Italy, and Burgundy, and many others. Honored to meet you. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, they're orange, Germany. Okay, default orange. Good to know. Good to know. That looks like another city state. Oh, that's really wedged between a lot of different Germanys. Taruga. We only have eight turns. What quest do they have? A great merchant. Ah, uh, I hate to say it, but that is a very difficult quest to obtain. I'm not sure I can actually get that one. We'll give it a go. If we can, we will, but it's unlikely we can, so we probably won't. Pop another builder out, just make sure all of our tiles are improved, and then we'll start spamming settlers. I think this map is going to be a little bit about coverage. Getting out, having a big army, settling wide. These are all things that we will enjoy almost to the stone, almost. Or another barb camp directly to myself. Yeah, it's good to know that that exists. And another city-state, Hattusa. Both scientific city-states, what quest have they got? They want a prophet. Okay, I'm not going to do it this era, but probably the next era, and Feed the World has been taken. Second religion gone. Looks like I'm on course for getting the third. I'm not rushing it because, as I say, work ethic tends not to be needed. I'm going to bring my archers back. I, it's, it's this grey Germany. I do not trust them. Germany is quite a hyper-aggressive neighbour under Frederick, and I am worried a little bit that we're going to get attacked if we stray too far away anyway. Here is the builder in Christiansund with a quarry. I give you the masonry boost, but also gives me an envoy with a cad. Excellent. Reason I'm so keen to do this is if I get this envoy quest whilst I'm in the ancient era, as soon as the classical era rolls round, I'll get a new quest. It's at the beginning of every era of the quests reset, as long as you're not at war. That's kind of what we have in mind and why I wanted to rush that through when I did. Each Germany one by one is deciding they like me, but trying to remember which Germany is telling me what is going to be increasingly difficult, I think. How good are the campuses that I can make? They are plus two. I mean, that's pretty good and I'm tempted to pop a plus five campus down. Ah, uh, not plus five campus, a five turn campus down. But then there's also a 10 turn settler and that would let me just sort of try and brick wall Germany off to myself, light gray Germany. There's a couple of good locations around me and I want to make sure that I claim them as best I can. Yeah, let's just go for it. I want to settle wide and far and far and wide. It looks like Candy's beating up this barb camp for me. That is a little bit annoying. I would have quite liked the era score there, but never mind. Ah, oh, two turns and I would have been able to levy Candy's unit and then claimed the era score myself. That would have been the clever play. Never mind. Next time. Craftsmanship boosted. Horseback riding boosted. Oh, Cad has been levied by other Germany. That's never good. Well, we're going to claim a normal age anyway. Religion is going well. I'm tempted to pick up Exodus of the Evangelists because that will give me at least four religion based era score, but we could get free inquiry as well. There's a couple of things we're already about to pick up, like wheel, irrigation, ironworking. There's a lot of stuff that in theory, apprenticeship, we should get. Yeah, I think it still makes sense to go for three inquiry, but Exodus is always quite tempting. Well, with the envoy I got from mysticism, I'm going to claim candy, and now I will start picking up relics. And as you can see, I can levy candy. A 75% discount, which is only 50 gold. Bam, mercenaries boosted. Huge, huge army obtained. This may annoy Germany. <laughs> <laughs> and when I say it may annoy Germany, I mean all of them simultaneously. Yeah, but they're not happy. All three of them have just warned me against doing that. Another city-state, Muscat. We found five of them so far. That's good. And what other quests have we got? Train a galley, easy enough to do. Construct an encampment, get a great admiral, a great merchant, and a great prophet. Okay, these are all pretty easy to do. Oh, one of the Germanies is running projects. Don't do that, that's what I do. That's a player strategy. I disapprove. I disapprove a lot of such underhanded tactics to get a religion. How could you? A lot of these levied units, I'm actually not going to take them too far away from the city-state. Oh, look at that. Five culture, five faith, five science. Oh, I do like it when this ability fires off. It's a turn's worth of yields just from killing a barbarian scout. I can't go to war with the AI, by the way. Remember that. Unless they start threatening
summoning or attacking a city state. We have rules. But yeah, I'm not going to bring these units too far away from the city states that I'm levying them from because ultimately they do have to keep these city states safe. The aim of the game is to keep them alive. So that's what we're going to do. Amani, why don't you head over to Muscat, far away from everything, and see what you can find. Tribal village, what's in this? One new pop. Oh, that's in Christensen. That'll help to squeeze out a settler a little quicker. Now, where do I want to settle? There's a few fun things that I need, like iron. I need those for my berserkers, I believe. I want access to the coast where I can build a galley. There's whales down here. So I think actually settling down in this region is going to be quite handy. That's a grassland hill. Unfortunate. I would act as a canal, but how important is the canal? I think I'd rather settle on the maze, you know? Gain myself the gold. So let's head down this way and we'll escort with this archer. That will leave me a city there. After that point, I can go one, two, three, four, and settle along this way. Is this a plains hill? Oh, it is a plains hill. There's another settlement opportunity there. And then we're going down. Do I want to squeeze the city into this gap? You know what? I think I do. It just stops the Germanies from advancing too much on me. I don't want to be too squished. It's one of the main things. Don't let yourself squish in. Oh, another city-state. Jerusalem. Good to know. Loads and loads of these things appearing. They want a trade route. I think I can do that if I send a unit through Germany's lands and explore the direct route. I think we can do that. So we're going to ask for open borders. One gold. Yeah, easy enough. And I know this slinger is quite important for my defenses, but we'll see if we can pass through. I think this should give me the apprenticeship boost. Yes. Bit of extra era score there. Another tribal village. 120 gold. Ooh, that's a bit better. These are sort of yields we like, actually. Can we sell our horses? Yes. Can we sell everything? Actually, did play favor. I probably don't want to sell. That is something that will help me going forward. Can I make my cities happy? Bit of honey. I will buy that honey in now. We've got a bit more gold. Saving up for, let's say, a shrine or a monument. Another settler. There's a lot of stuff that we could use. Gee, I realize I've popped money in the wrong place. Hattusa is where I want to go because that was the city state that was going to give me an envoy when I got the profit. We'll wait for that one. Early Empire. I want settlers. Colonization. Thank you so much. Discipline still very handy, but I'm going to pick up conscription. No, this is what I need to remember. The mod that gives me yields on all of these cards, it does not take in Varangian ability very well because I have minus two on every unit's maintenance cost and it never takes that into account. So at the moment, you can actually see I have zero expense from units. So it's not worth it. Let's keep discipline in then instead. Now, which governor would be helpful for me? Hmm. Don't really want to do much chopping down this game. So Magnus is of limited use. I think Pingala has got to be the way to go. German missionaries. Oh, no. Run away. Don't spread me your lies. I must I must resist your wily ways. Oh, somebody else has made another religion. Judaism. And they've gone divine inspiration. And I believe I am the last person to get a religion. This is why I haven't been worried. I haven't been rushing it. I saw that earlier and was like, I think we'll be fine. City number three. On the coast. Oslo. On a nearby river. River? Yes, 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 yes. We get the sailing boost as well, which is a bit of the era score. Just all of these settlements I'm using to pick up era score one after another. Saving my gold, we're going to pick up a galley and send them out to sea. Unless I, do I just make the galley? I'm tempted to make the galley because I can put naval tradition in, can't I? Yeah, okay. In that case, instead, I'm going to pick up the builder, go pick up the iron for the iron working boost, and then I can also then sell the iron. Like anybody who loves to sell everything they can dig up from the ground, which is me. I'm hoping her Tusa will now become, yes, beautiful suzerain of me, which is lovely. They haven't got many units, but it's only 35. Tempted to keep that city-state. If I send Marnie on, though, I'm going to lose touch with this city-state pretty quickly. Jerusalem just needs a trade route, and to be honest, I'm just about to actually find my way through Germany's land to get to Jerusalem. My trade route does refresh very soon. I am going to levy, get machinery boosted because of the archer, bring them back to Hattusa, and just keep an eye. Just keep an eye out in the area, I think. And in the meantime, here's my religion. Religion number four, the best religion. The game of Sid Meier's Tower Defense. And we do have to go work ethic. Of course we do. We're playing Norway. What else is going to help me? Papal primacy? No. Where's the other one that gives me envoys? Where are you? Religious en uh, unity. Envoy at each city state when it first adopts this religion. Done. We want to be doing that for the quests anyway. So I think that's going to work out really nicely for me. By the way, I mentioned an 
iron mine. Here is the aforementioned iron mine. Oh, we're just picking up little dedication bonuses here and there and here and there. You think we are blind to your army? Which, which one is this? Who is this? I, I don't even know. Look, I'm staying back. I'm waiting in Hattusa. I'm keeping it safe. That's all I'm doing. Oh, did this pay off? We can't reach Jerusalem from my capital. That's a little bit annoying. But can we reach it from another city? Yes, from Christiansen. Oh my goodness, we did it. We forethought. We actually made a trade route that's going to give us an envoy. If I wait six turns on that, I'll get two envoys because I can put a government in. It'll double up my envoy. Ah, I might do that actually. That's really good. Here is a whale. All my cities are now happy. Not ecstatic, just happy. That's all you need to be really. Ah, these missionaries though. Where are you going? Are you just converting a cad? Don't mind if you're just converting a cad, but if you're coming towards me, not going to be happy about it. Oh, moderate flood just took out all of the farms that I built. That's really annoying. At least it's going to make the holy site a bit faster, but ah, flooding. Who would have it, eh? It's city number four. And it follows my religion, which is wonderful because hopefully that'll stop it from rebelling. Silly city. Who would have a city rebel like that? Dear oh dear. I tell you what, the production that's coming in from my holy sites is beginning to help a little bit now. It's just nudging my cities up. I mean, I would always love Feed the World more. I still maintain that Feed the World is better than work ethic in pretty much every circumstance, but doesn't mean I can't enjoy it when it is here. So we'll just work on this a little bit. Let's get a couple of builders out and fix some flood damage. And I can three up this city to make its holy site, which, I mean, there's a plus three, yeah, but that is a campus plus three. We don't want to sacrifice that. Oh, there's just a plus four over there. That is a nice plus four. Let's do that. Just do a little bit of impatience trading in order to then buy the galley, which actually, ugh, that impatience trading really was impatient. No, a cad already has an envoy. Good. I was worried that I'd uh, done that a little bit too early and I could be doubling it up, but there we go. A cad has a second envoy. Now, if I spread my religion to city-states, I do get a third. I'm aware of that. I'm just holding off. You are settled too close. Um, I will gain the favor because I think I'm going to use it to vote and get my diplomatic victory as soon as possible. Whether that works out for me or not, I don't know. Government. We have an era score from getting into the classical era on culture. And what am I going to do? I think I'm going to go classical or autocracy because those are the ones with city-state facing abilities. But I think great person points and an extra housing and amenity, that will help in the longer run for now. First envoy counts as two. Charismatic leader. These cards are pretty much going to be in for the entirety. Settlers are still really good. Urban planning will do nicely. Well, now I can send my trade route out and get myself two envoys with Jerusalem. It's almost ready to go now. Perfect. Next up, theology. Oh, hello. What's this? Is that a city-state being attacked or is that just a flood? I feel like that was just attacked. Hang on. Taruga can't see. Yes, it's a war with one of the Germanys. Oh no, I don't know which way this is going, but we probably need to get involved there as quick as we can. In order to do this, what's the best way? Unlock iron workings, get some swordsmen, I think, because these warriors right now are useless. We're going to have to build a world police. I, I, I'm, what kind of world police am I that I don't have any troops? Rubbish one. Let's just watch this and see how bad it gets. Oh, pretty bad, pretty bad. Okay, okay. The first city-state may be disappearing from the map very soon. Yep, okay. It has been conquered by Grey. Grey is the problem. We will keep an eye on that. I'm going to let Le Candy take the warriors back. Then I'm going to upgrade them after. We'll need a bunch of iron to do that. I really do need a great general as well. How many of these have gone? None of them, but oh, there's not much of the era left. This is city number five. It's going to keep making these beautiful holy sites next to loads of wood and rainforest and all this good stuff. This is the little announcement we need to see defeated. An unnamed city-state or whatever has been defeated. I'm just going to mark it actually with a pin so I don't forget. Take this back. It's bright yellow. We shouldn't miss that. I mean, we will. We will absolutely miss that, but we shouldn't miss that. Okay, you're going to have to give me more than this. <laughs> <laughs> you want a joint war with Frederick Barbarossa? Which one? Who are you? What's going on? No, 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 no. I'm I'm the one that makes the deal. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this is half the challenge of the game. Who am I talking to? Which Germany are you? Whoa, somebody very briefly took candy away from me. I guess that reset in a weird way my levying of them, but I, I would prefer if I did that on my own terms again. Thank you very much. Another envoy. I'm going to pop it into Jerusalem and let my holy site spread religion a little faster, but yeah, this is another source of leviable units that I can send after Taruga to go and somehow claim this back. Are you, are you at war with 
with another one of the Germanys at the moment? Uh, no, you've denounced one of them. I mean, which one? Who knows? Sure, we could deduct it, deduce it if we really tried, but for now it is a mystery. Every time I see a holy site complete, a small part of me cheers, celebrates. It's amazing. Galleys. More galleys, please. I need a second one. We need to get shipbuilding, because don't forget, once we've got that, we can go into oceans. Ah, the world. The world is our oyster, and actually it needs to be, because I'm trying to discover the rest of it, but it's all deep ocean and I can't travel into it. God, how are we going to get Taruga back? This is going to be such a problem. I'm hoping, actually, that Candy will upgrade these units themselves. If they do that, that'll be massively helpful. Building a battering ram, saving up some faith. Maybe I'll use my faith on the last great general of the era. Don't know how this is going to go. I mean, I'm, I was maybe thinking I get, to, I get to get apostles to fight religion and spread religion that way, but I don't know. Frederick has declared war on Frederick. Oh, no. Orange has declared war on Dark Grey. There's a, I mean, how you're going to get to each other, I don't know. I'm not asking. I'm not getting involved. I am simply staying out of it like a good Ursa should. I'm, I'm not getting involved. Come on, Candy. Upgrade to Swordsman. Upgrade to Swordsman. You know you want to. Oh, it's just a gentle eruption. Just a tickle. It's fine. Ten turns. We are going to build another galley. That will give us access to a Eureka. That's one point. Ancient walls, water mills, sea resources. There's a lot of stuff we could be doing, but we only need four era score before the end of the era. Now, if I levy Canvi, that would give me one, but I need more, don't I? Two sea resources? Is there another sea resource that I can boost nearby? Not without spending a horrendous amount of gold. I'm thinking maybe the water mill is the way to go here. Yeah, capital, you sort that out. You've got decent production and you would stand to benefit from it a little bit. So that's two era score sorted. That means Christensen, you get the wall done in that time. That'll be three era score. And let's say we make the fourth up on the fly. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the fourth era score is going to be at this point, but well, well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Is that a city called Worms? That, what? I've never seen that. That's, that's weird. Is that on the German list or is that some sort of, oh, there's been too many cities of a certain type sort of thing? I, I could not tell you actually. Oh, oh, Jerusalem is upgrading. Yes, 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 yes. This is what we want to see. City states, uh, do the upgrading for me. I can buy you at a really reduced rate, but I can't upgrade units like you can with Hungary. That's why I really like Hungary is you could just go, Oh, for 75% less iron, and I could just run the army in. I was very tempted to play this as Hungary, but I thought it would be different as Varangian Harold. It, it's just a different style of game. Yes, 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 yes. This is really, really, really good. We got the envoy, sorry, the boost for shipbuilding now. That is amazing. So let's get these two galleys out. They are now exploring. I'll be able to sail. I, if we just meet anyone in the next six turns, in theory, we'll be fine. I could also levy candy in theory, or Jerusalem, or whatever. Gee, before they really detest me, I'm going to open my borders or get the open borders so that if I do levy Jerusalem's army, which is going to be quite risky, I could just go straight over to Taruga. Now, am I going to build an encampment or get a great admiral anytime soon? Eh, probably not. These are tough calls. These are very, very tough calls. I want a watermill, monument, granaries. Let's just get all the basic buildings. Let's get this all sorted. Construction boosted. Shipbuilding obtained. I'm going to go and see what the coast has to offer in that direction. And look, my galley can get to sea. Huzzah! It's a Christmas miracle! Actually, you go get this tribal village. It's just sat there. I want it. Don't tempt me. Ah, oh, candy has been stolen. By who? Which Frederick Barbarossa? <laughs> <laughs> How do I tell which one this is? I guess it doesn't matter. It's just not mine. That's what we should really just take away from this, but still. Oh, Jerusalem. Oh, you shouldn't have. These are men at arms. Yes. Oh, that is a liberation task force if ever I've seen one. Right now we've got shipbuilding. I want to do some things that would be useful, like horseback riding into construction. I'm actually thinking about it. If I'm just going to be letting city-states upgrade the units for me, I can sell my resources and I can get a bit of gold. That makes perfect sense sense. Maybe. Jerusalem, you're going to upgrade the last few of your units? Yeah, they brought the warrior in. You never know. We're, we're merely passed by. Who, which German is this? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Yes, they did upgrade it. Come on, one more warrior, and then we've got the full package. Oh, look who we've met. Across the Shining Sea, it's Germany, King of Italy, Burgundy, and, and many others. Honored to meet you, and oh my lord, who's this? It's it's Frederick, King of Italy, Burgundy, and, and many others. That's it. Oh, okay, we don't need any more score with uh, 
first to meet everyone. We have a blue Germany and a weird maroon Germany. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, hang on. Right, that's just telling me I've met someone. It was the same notification symbol as a city state has died. That was a confusing game. Don't, don't tease me like that. Oh, Jerusalem did it. They did it. They did it. They did it. They did it. Excellent. Righty ho. I am going to just levy them. Oh, five mana arms. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna go get Taruga back. I'm not having this. This is not on. Amar, home of the Irish pirates with some wine. New resources, wine. The game screams out to me, don't you want the wine? And I'm like, sure. Oh, religious conversion. Ah, if I send over a missionary or five, convert this city state, then I'll get two envoys, which will then double to three. Or that's not doubling. The first one will double to three. Look, okay, I know what I mean. So it's fine. Theology amazing here is scripture i'm gonna put this instead of charismatic leader charismatic leader is pretty useless i mean three to five influence points per turn this is not what we're doing but diplomatic league is really handy but that's a lot of extra faith per turn and that's a lot of extra production per turn so we are now doing useful things like monuments and shrines and all this sort of stuff in fact actually i'm gonna push the shrines to the top of the build queue a little bit because we've now unlocked stave churches oh the stave church it's my unique building it gives holy site district an additional standard adjacency from woods so now with that card in each wood gives me another two production and it also gives one production to coastal resources so for instance like oslo has this whale sure we'll take it it's fine this is a total waste but i'm tempted to put one envoy more into jerusalem just to mean that if if an amani does pop into this city i'm not going to lose all of my very expensive units which i mean that would that would just make me very sad if i lost all these so we're not going to do this orange germany is going to hate me for bringing all these troops through their lands um i don't care i wish there was a better way to put it but there is not preslav another city state and again doesn't have anyone in it they want a eureka for mathematics i think i'm going to do that accidentally so that's really cool and we enter the medieval era military tradition is all lovely but what's going on around me light gray is in a golden age no heroic age ah they're who are going to be fighting dark gray is in a dark age okay that's all very well and good but what are we going to do Monumentality would be fun, but I'm actually saving right now my faith to buy this great general. So monumentality may not be as effective as I'd want it to be. How much is a settler to buy? 800, which means it'd be 400 faith, which means they'd be 280 faith. That's quite expensive even with monumentality. And production is where I am. I can build my settlers, so I don't need monumentality right now. I don't have anything that will free inquiry or boost. I'm going to go Exodus. Yeah, I'm going to use my faith to spread my religion, get more envoys in city-states. I think long term more envoys more coverage over the city states of the map is going to do me better we'll see if this pays off i don't know if it will and finally a very special shout out goes to glorious petra matthew wilkinson paul coffee portland clint hennis scott stratton major king kong skeptical bear cinnamon beard petra ryan radiatore private selection genoa salami callum billy garrett gowan polar bear ray el truant creston rb hedged mushkin mandeltort debel time burial i'm daft goober Dr. Bobby, Polar Waller Bear, Mixomatosis, NTG Golfman, Victor McPupster, Indigenous 68, Technology Poet, Teddy Zursa, Zaf, Barnaby Rex, Sharky Bates, Charlie Bears, I Love You Tombo, Flying Dutch Burbs. Thank you everyone for your support. See you all in the next video. Goodbye.